So this is the final game of the Rabble Round Robin Week 2. So this is Game 7. And it's uh, Mockingbird, Mockingjay, I believe it is. And we're uh, joined here with uh, Paris. So he'll, he'll be able to tell you exactly what map this is. It's been a while since I played this one, so... What do you think, Paris? Are you there? Yeah, I believe it's to kill a mockingbird. Oh, yeah, to kill a mockingbird? Okay, and so the captains... Yeah, named after the... Yeah, so the captains are... This time it's Limp and HMP. And I believe HMP was coming off a win on Game 6 on uh, Tamerlan Dark. And you had been captaining the, the other team there. But it looks like you've joined HMP now. This was It's, it's random players. Uh, it's just like one person joining the captain, right? Yeah, if they were selected, it would only be one person. Well, so why don't you tell us a little bit about this tournament, since we've got you here. Well, it's the Rabble Round Robin. So it's a show-and-play tournament for Myth 2. Um, it's based on maps revolving around two teams. Uh, players are able to earn points to earn like a private invitation to a team of all the top performing players um and it's basically just you know a plan to get everyone for myth world cup to pop off you know so a bit of a warm-up for uh, mwc 2020 game on yeah definitely because i mean mwc will mostly be two team games there might be an allies game who knows yeah, I mean, Rabble games are your bread and butter, kind of like mm -hmm. your public games. And this is like a show and play tournament, so like anyone could show up and play and be your teammate. And so when's it? Uh, kind of like... When's it go down? It's a uh, Sundays, is that right? Yeah, Sundays, two p.m. Eastern. Okay. It's about. Yeah. So that's if anybody wants to play. Um in the next week or the upcoming weeks. And I, I hear, you were saying earlier it's got about two and a half weeks left to run before the finals? Correct. So there's about... Players got two more weeks left to earn the points. And uh, then a final third week from now will be that final match. And then uh, I believe the week after, the first round of Myth World Cup begins. You know? Oh, okay, so, we're, so it rolls right into Mithril Cup. That's good timing. So let's uh, let's look at this. Um, so everyone who's watching, uh, make sure you uh, sign up or go in and play, do a show and play if you're interested. But uh, let's, let's, let's focus down on this game. So I haven't just taken a look at the splits exactly yet, but it looks like HMP gave uh, Paris and Spy the heavy gear, at least on the percentages, and... Limp did a broader split. Him, Kruniak, Shadow, Adrenaline, and Vazazel. And it looks like we've got Father Xmas with Empy and Walter White are moving up on the mid flag. It's territories. So once again, they need to tag out all six flags to win or hold the most flags at the end of the match. And uh, Wayward won there on the middle, moving with... Uh, looks like... So Paris, you've got some force down there. Uh, who's on that? Who's coming around the side there? Yeah, over in the east, yep. Yeah, and that looks like you and... So we're just kind of pushing forward. They actually give us a lot of push here. I'm surprised they didn't focus more on the east, because I feel like the west is usually a dead fight. Um, the mid has, like, weird terrain disadvantages, and it's always kind of going to give an advantage to the north team because of the way the hill was worked up and stuff. Yeah, I see there's a, uh, Adrenaline is duking it out. Uh, I missed who it was with there. I think Mel Sleasure on the west. And he's, him and Walter White have the advantage there. So they're they're advancing. Uh, the HMP team is not in a great position there. I'm looking at, it's Mel Sleasure. He's, he seems like he's way out of position. He's trying to defend the flag, but he seems like he's, he's in the wrong spot. Now, in the middle and in the east... Flag. I can see some fire arrows going down. 
and it looks like what's your time stamp at 8.52 Raja. yeah Wayward One is moving against well him and HMP are trying to hold down uh, against Kruniak who's in the mid he's being reinforced by Father Xmas coming up with some archers there I can see a shadow throwing down against Spoon Spoon's been pussed he's getting bombed uh, taking some damage there you're on. You've got hit by a couple of fire arrows as well, by the looks of it. Although I can see that the main force is now. It's this uh, duel between Kruniak and Weird One in the center, with Father Xmas and uh, HMP tossing arrows at each other. So it's a pretty heavy right. melee. I'm dropping a little pus into the mix. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, violent there. That looks like. Though it's going to even out about 75-76%. Uh, although I think, yeah, yeah, it looks like Wayward One just did a nice pus bomb on Kruniak's forces there. Uh, Kruniak, yes, Limp is uh, uh, shouting that one out, quite rightly so. So that gave HMP's team the win in the mid-battle. And you're coming in on the flank in the mid, so that's going to uh, give you guys a, a big force uh, right at that river crossing. And you should be able to exploit that by pushing across against Vazazel and uh, Father Xmas, who are now in, I think, serious trouble. Yeah, and are you checking over in the west right now? I'm looking at that right now, yes. So what, what do you see happening there? Well, right now, Mal and Spider are doing their best to defend this flag. flag. Uh, they're flag. matched up against Adrenaline, Walter White, and Vazazel, and, Vaz, yeah. and it's... Uh, it's not looking too good for them, but it seems like the players are really trading a lot of units, so... I mean, at this point, Mal should just be backing off. Spider's going to get hacked to pieces. Yes, I think they're finished over there. So that was a win for the uh, Walter White. So that was the uh, Limps team. For Limps team, yeah. over in the west, yep, definitely. T took a big wing there. In the mid, we've uh, kind of returned to a uh, another protracted archer fight. Uh, looks like... Honestly... Even though it was a win, yeah, I think Adrenaline died over in the West as well. Yeah, he's showing zero percent. Zero percent. That's right. So they're tied up on percentages of fifty-three. What time we got? Uh, six minutes. Lots of time remaining. Flags are looking pretty even. I mean, this is obviously going to be the decisive battle in the center here. Shadow and uh, MP hacking away at each other. Limp tossing down pus. That's going to be a oh man! If Shadow could have made that dwarf bottle connect. Buddy hit the water, him and MP. Uh, poor Father Xmas is getting annihilated by you and HMP uh, with the archers, so that's the end of that. <laughs> Percentage is still very close, though. I think Limp needs to kind of... He's got these forces sort of split up around the map. Uh, like Walter White, for example, is now coming over here to match with Father Xmas, but they need... Uh, it's too late to really fight uh, you or HMP there. Also... Uh, as Modian was moving around, I can see just beside them. So they need to kind of concentrate. Flag lost. Yeah, those... The rest of uh, the units in the west for the Tan team are just kind of out of position where they're just going to be getting run down now. And, you know, we'll just have to see what the percents are after that little exchange. Yeah, Limp has got... Well, like the well, only stable forces are... Over in the north for the Tan team. Asmodian's getting like, I don't know. bombed by hey, Vazil. Uh, but he's yeah, he's going to get burned out here when HMP catches them. Those fire arrows, yeah, there, takes out his dwarf with some fire arrows. Uh, so that, that West Force is going to fall, I think, very shortly. And it looks like Limp's team is sort of there. I mean, they're down to these goal packs. They're kind of moving around on the flags, going for a tag in the late game. And that's good because they've got mobility. Like, um, uh, let's see. You, you've got a big force in the center, but it's a slow force. And, you know, Limp is going to have no problem just maneuvering right past you there with his goals. Going for some flag. tags, I would imagine. They're still up, 8-5 to five on flags. If they can score some of these back flags, oh, yeah. which are not defended. He threatens all of them, for sure. It looks like it's flag on... I mean, there's Thrall on one of those flags. Yeah, it's got, yeah that's the only defense I see. So he should have no problem scoring all the rest of them, which is about three or four flags in the back there. Uh, I see Spy is 
<laughs> trying to hold down one flag uh, with Asmodian. They're going to hack up Walter White. Oh, actually, that's, that's working for him. So he's going to, that's uh, HMP is going to hold that West. I think they're going to win that. Uh, yeah, especially with uh, HMP coming in with his, his force there. So they're going to destroy the rest of Lim's force Flag. in the West. The percentages are close. Yeah, Limp is, the only thing is Limp is running out of uh, manpower. At this point, you've got the largest force um, in the center, but it can really do the least because you're, you're so contingent on those dwarves and thrall defending your archers. And there's just not enough uh, mobility, really, to um, get out there and tag. Yeah, I think I end up be splitting up the units a little bit here and kind of playing on different parts of the map just to try to cover more flags with the amount of stuff I have. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely your best strategy here since uh, concentration's not going to matter so much. And with these, with these random units like Adrenaline's, one warrior dodging over there. I mean, that's not going to be a threat. I can see these uh, Hidden Thrall, Limp's Hidden Thrall, are going to score against Asmodian. That was a nice move late in the game. Pushing Asmodian right off there. That's like a classic Drowned Empire uh, kind of play. Uh, however, he's got Spoon uh, mobilizing against him, so he won't be able to hold that position. Now, the flags are very close to the 7-6 for HMP at the moment. 8-5 uh, now. It's about two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. I'm sort of trying to... I'm just watching a little bit. Like, Limp is playing in multiple positions, you'll notice. So he's got the goals uh, scoring the back flags, and he's handling that uh, little thrall maneuver up in the north. Asmodian is chasing Vazazel. <laughs> this is... I don't know what, what they're doing down there. I mean, everybody's still spread out over the map now. You're just looking at, um, you know, micro uh, force maneuvers. Flag. Five on flags. Oh, yeah. Do you think there's any risk to? I mean, I, I see like your home flag. I see WWO is uh, picking up a. Was that a full pus or was that a? I doubt it. Probably a dud. It was probably a dud, from what I looked at before. Yeah, so he's he can't take that. Oh, that's a full pus going down on uh, Paris there. Yeah, that's a great pus by Adrenaline. He's going to get a few of those archers. Good trading value on his, his behalf there. Uh, he's going to wipe out quite a bit. Yeah, and Shad is shadow chasing you. That's, that's unfortunate for the HMP team. The percents are down, but they're still up. Uh, that's, this flag will fall, though, so <laughs> that's a nice final uh, duff attack there, stopping a Puskel. However, Limp's team still captures that flag, flag lost. which puts it at 9-4. But you guys are still up a significant amount on flags. I see. But mainly the, the only force that you really have left now is in the west. Spoon. The majority, yeah. yeah. I'm still defending the but northeastern flag. With 21 I'm seconds. I'm trying to tag the north, but... Yeah, it's going to be really close, because it's 10 seconds oh. remaining. Numbers are shooting back and forth here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to get any more flags. 6-7, though, it's changing. What do you think? We're going to sun death? Yeah. Oh, just for a second there. So one flag determines it in the end. And that goes to uh, Team HMP. Ah, yeah, so Paris, you played in this game. Can you give me a sense of, um, of what the action was like from your end? Well, I'm just trying to control that eastern part of the map, and then at one point, I'm like, damn, everyone on my team is, like, dead. <laughs> so, I'm trying to, like, slow down the enemy's advance at that point, but also see where else I can put my units to try to give us an advantage but it was it was I mean it was close I don't know, it was kind of tough because I'm only like covering like two or three flags you know what I mean and you really need the rest of your team to be around trying to cover the other flags I don't know how we pulled off 
all these defensive flags. I mean, it must have been Spoon and HMP and maybe some of the other guys who were left, but, um, you know, it was a really close. It could have gone either way, the way I see it. Oh, like, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at, like, uh, Wayward One has one warrior holding a flag down in the south. Uh, yeah, one thrall, HM, a spy there with one thrall holding a flag. <laughs> so this is uh, skills learned through countless end games in territories games where those kind of you know thrall is like you know one percent making the difference um yeah very close and i noticed also in the north uh walter white has a, a journeyman who it could potentially make a move on you where you're defending th if he had some um some roots he might have been able to you know melt down some of those thrall and score another flag there which could have been uh the difference so very very close yeah, I honestly assumed that he had, but I forgot that if you only have one journeyman, he's going to use all his roots if the other team's maxes pass. But I was under the uh, assumption he was, so I just started throwing as soon as he showed up yeah, to try move. to keep him out of the contest range. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you got to assume, right? Like, that's the, the smart play there is don't take any chances on that. And uh, I mean, I sometimes you want to control... Like, if you do have a percentage lead, you probably want to control and get a contest and just make sure your team has the advantage till the end. Um, but if you're low on percentage, you kind of just want the game end if you have mm. a flag lead, you know? Yeah, just take it if you if you can get it. And you guys um, just snuck that one, just managed to sneak it in there. But that's, uh, yeah, that's a classic. That's how it goes. Anyway, so I think we'll uh, we'll just wrap that up. So that's all the games for this week. And it, like I said to anybody watching, if you want to play uh, next Sunday, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I believe, is your is your chance. And, Correct. And it's yeah, uh, be first, there. yeah, first come, first serve, right? So get there, uh, get there early. I believe so. And then some of the people, I think, if you've played a certain amount of games, then you're not necessarily required to play so much as you know. You kind of want the other guys to get there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's qualifying nice. Qualifying round games in, so to speak. But only if you can get enough people. No, right. I mean, these games have been full games. These are 16, 16, I think, for every game. Yeah, man. It's been fun. And for the most part, it seems like people are taking it a little bit more serious than, like, I anticipate. Mm. Where, like, a lot of people are trying to play safe and play smart. Like, I mean, like, you even have Walter White in this last <laughs> game an example he's like playing to keep his units alive you don't always see him doing that <laughs> like you know, i'm not just trying to call him out on it i'm just saying like you know people are trying to play pretty smart in these games it's really getting people up to shape i like it you know yeah i, I agree i mean he did he did great numbers this game just looking at his damage there he's, he's right below adrenaline so he played very well walter white and i agree with you he's uh, in the free he's more of a free-for-all player so i've seen him make some kind of boneheaded plays what have you in two team but uh, in in this four bat, he's definitely stepping up. He's been playing well this whole tournament, in fact, uh, or at least the games that I've casted so far. Uh, same with yeah, like definitely. people like Spy as a World War II player. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean Spy has like one of the best scores in the tournament right now, and huh. so does like Malsleisure. Yeah, I think it's Gecko, Spider, Malsleisure, and Thal, and those are like the top four scoring guys right now. Huh. I mean, besides Thal, that's definitely not what I would have expected. Uh, uh, I thought yeah. it was captaining earlier, so he was he was doing quite well uh, when well, he was. Gecko's in... like he's a legend though. He, oh yeah, he, he would definitely be up there. But like Mouse Leisure, Spy, he could do big surprises. But uh, I mean, all the power to them. Yeah, absolutely. And like if, if that translates to better two team play in a, a tournament, you know, like a more even a more uh, Myth World Cup style or a TWS style tournament, then that's great. Anyway, so we'll we'll leave it there. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. And uh, uh, good to, good to hear from you, Paris. Thank you, sir. Good games. Yeah, GG.